All right, so we're going to be working on Jesse's Irish Pathway. So I just got a lot of colors. Um, I got all the colors that are colors that you would use if you make something of outside. So um, probably just taking out your whole crayon box would be the best idea for, for this. I have my pencil, light green, dark green, yellow, orange, red, blue, brown, gray, black. I have almost my entire coloring box. So we're going to start off drawing the actual landscape. It's a pathway. So when you do something like this, you need a line in the middle to separate the, the sky and the ground. So this is going to be the sky and this is going to be the ground. Now we need to make the actual pathway. You need to make a dot. This is called the vanishing point. You make one line it opens up a little bit, and then you make another line, and it opens up more in the other way until it gets really big. Okay? And from here, we're going to start adding our trees. So all the trees need to be starting on the bottom half. They can go into the sky, but they need to start on the bottom half. Okay? Because trees cannot start in the sky. So we can have all of our... Um, um, these parts of the tree starting at the bottom there. So like this tree, I'm going to have it just up, falling off the page. And then you can just have, because a lot of the trees on this kind of look dead. There's a lot of green here, but these definitely, a lot of them look dead. And then there's a lot of little lines back here. And then there's these bush shaped things over here. For this one, the shapes that when, when you start are not as important. For what's most important with this is the coloring of how you treat the coloring, honestly. So I think this is going to be a fair way to start. So to simplify it, I'll just start off with the path. So the path looks like gray with some brown on top. So I'm just going to color the entire thing gray if you don't have gray you can use a super light blue that would probably be the closest thing to it So now I'm going to just put some of my brown on top. I'm probably going to throw some black in there too since this brown isn't very, very dark. All I'm doing is going on top and mixing the colors. Okay? Because since this is not like a brand new sidewalk, it's kind of dirty and messy. It just looks like a, a older path in the forest. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make some black in there. The edges of the path look pretty dark. Alright, my path looks awesome. So now I'm going to start with the ground. We're going to focus on the sky last. So we're we're going to just focus on actually making the trees and the bushes and everything good first. So I'm going to come in and then I'm going to first color all my tree stumps. So 
that I know exactly where to have my trees. So when I start adding green, I don't lose them. I'm going to start with the green because there's a lot of it. I'm going to start with my color pencil because if you put crayon under color pencil, you usually cannot color good. I'm going to start with the leaves and things like that. You can color messy for this. So I'm not telling you to scribble, but you don't need to have perfectly um, like organized lines because then it's not going to look like the trees are moving or this is really outside. The light there. Using the different greens is going to be able to help, help us tell our trees apart because we're going to have so many overlapping trees that this is probably very important. I'm going to go back with the brown and straighten these out. I wasn't sure what direction I wanted them. Okay. So now I'm going to get my light green. Oh no. I want to work on these bushes. I forgot about them. Now, I think I might also go back again with my black and dark in a few areas to help sell our trees apart. I'm going to go back with my green, my light green, and add, I guess we can call them highlights. Now, in the distance, we can see a couple bushes. Mm -hmm. 
know I can see some short trees. I'm going to make a few more bushes. And if you make some really light brown lines, it can make it look like they're super far away. It's just different ways to play with um, the colors like usual that we have gotten very good at. Now I'm coming in with the yellow to make even more highlights because in nature, there are many, many, many different greens. Towards the, or the center of our artwork, I've noticed that there's quite a bit of orange. So I'm just coming in and throwing some orange. the black made a huge difference. Okay. So I'm going to go in with my blue lightly. As I stated before, Please do not put your blue under the middle line because the sky is above and the ground is below. Okay, so um, if you were interested in maybe making some parts of the ground darker, that would be fantastic. But otherwise, I think we look pretty good.